I believe it's October 29th. It's about 4.30 in the afternoon. It was super windy this morning. Woke up, didn't want to come out. So I decided to stay and just come out in the evening. I stopped by earlier to one of my glassings point and I saw, I spotted this buck. It's a legal buck on the clear cut that I usually go to or at least uh, see. I'm just trying to get down there as quick as I can. I'm trying to get it before, you know, shooting lights over. Hopefully he's still there. He was just basically right in the open. He's a decent buck. Uh, I looked at him for a good two, three minutes. I was like, he's, he's a good buck. If I want to get him, I got to get going. So I'm just trying to get down there. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. about 5 30 right now and the sun is just about to go behind that mountain and I actually just spotted I believe it's a doe I didn't really have a good look at it I don't think there was anything on top of his head I don't think it's uh, the buck that I saw earlier there's definitely some deer over there I'm hoping they feed there all night um, they love that spot though. Every time I come, I always see deer there. And so I'm hoping that they stay there tonight. And I'm gonna come back tomorrow morning. Hopefully that buck gives me a shot. It is freezing this morning definitely cold but i just got here set up my stuff and we're back at the same area where we spotted that buck yesterday i backed out last minute last night i decided to just wait for this morning and hopefully i can glass him up hopefully he'll give me an opportunity today i plan to stay here until probably 9 or 10 in the morning if i don't see anything I'm probably gonna go back to a truck and see what we do from there been a slow day today haven't seen a single deer I think I've just been more driving today than usual that's probably why I haven't seen deer I decided to come back down here this area I've seen a lot of deer down here and just driving through and back usually at night or at least when it's dark I guess sometimes I come early in the morning when it's still dark I've seen deer on the side of the road and uh, haven't really just hunted it. I've always just kind of passed it, didn't really care too much, but I've seen so much deer that it's kind of, I'm kind of curious to uh, check it out. So I'm basically just going to go on this road. Um, there's a lot of big ditches, so I don't think you're supposed to drive on it. You probably can if you have like a lifted truck or something, but uh, I don't, so I parked over there and I'm just gonna hit this road on foot. I'm gonna try to go as fast as I can to see if I can uh, go to the end, see where it takes me. 4.30, so almost prime time. These deer should be moving pretty soon. Hopefully I get a chance. But hopefully we get some, hopefully I just see deer today. It's always uh, discouraging when you don't see any deer or anything.
It is October 31st now, Halloween day, last day in October. I got a late start today. Had to do some stuff this morning and so I couldn't come out early in the morning. It's noon right now that I just got here so missed out in the morning but it is what it is. I'm just gonna glass this clear cut from the road really quick. I'm probably gonna go up to the other canyon and go up high today for the evening afternoon evening hunt a lot of people are down low coming down to the wire a day and a half left missed out on this morning but gotta make the best out of it hopefully we could put one down today Finally made it up to this upper road. It's hot. Definitely don't want to go where there's sun right now. Just want to stay in that shade. And I feel like the deer probably are feeling the same way as well. This side pretty much is going to be hit by the sun right now. So I'm going to slowly go on this road onto the back side where there should be shaded clear cuts. And I'm pretty much just going to glass those clear cuts on the back side 
just kind of slowly work my way back and hopefully by the time I get back there will be less sunlight and maybe the deer will come out on these clear cuts but there's a lot of people almost everywhere you go there's gonna be somebody and that's why I decided to come up here uh, it's a little bit of a hike but once you get up here it's not that bad so hopefully I'll get into some deer Oh my gosh. He just rolled. Oh. Oh man, I just want to cry. Oh man. Just worked so hard. Just like that. You got to bug down. I didn't think there was gonna be any deer here. It was, it feels as hot, and I didn't think there was gonna be any deer. I was walking, I wasn't paying attention. I kinda of looked to my left, I saw movement, and I, I looked back again, and I saw deer. And I, there was actually two, I think there was, I saw two for sure. The first one came out, it looked like a doe, it was a smaller one. The second one came up, I saw rack and he was definitely forked I was like dude legal buck and then they didn't really care too much about me set my pack down sat down put my crosshair right on him he was cornering away man he just rolled oh. thank you God thank you Oh. When you lost all hope. Unbelievable, guys. Give that deer a little bit of time. Give myself some time and I think I'm ready to go down there, go take a look at them. Man, so crazy. Through the ups and downs, highs and lows, a bunch of lows this season for me. I have to admit, probably the worst shape of my life this year, physically. I went on to that high country mule deer hunt last minute with Simone. It was so brutal wanted to give up from day one but Simone was just, just so positive and supportive just you know just keep after it we'll get you a big buck that's all he said kept pushing myself got a little bit better physically stronger 
came up today did not think it was gonna happen I didn't get here until 12 didn't know where to go there's just so many people decided to come up high didn't think they were gonna be on this clear cut didn't really know where to go I haven't really explored up here much just like that boom deer down kind of got down to this little draw and there's running water would you look at that I didn't even think there was uh, any running water down here it looks so dry up there and you don't see any water coming up from above this is probably why they could live in here they got water food they're probably just gonna hide down here bed down here you'll never ever see them but I'm almost to him trying to get through these thick stuff it's no joke so hopefully I can uh, get to him safely and get him out safely he should be down somewhere around here man it doesn't look that bad from up there but you get in here it's pretty thick can't really see far I don't even know where I shot him I just watched uh, the replay on that and uh, I'm super disgusted. I think I hit him uh, super far back in the leg. Oh my gosh. I don't even think he's dead. I dropped my rifle a few times when we went down to or went up for mule deer hunting. Told myself. I should probably just shoot it just to make sure that it's still spot on. Never did. And took it out on that deer. He rolled. And when I saw him roll, I thought he was done for. But I think in the video, he rolled, but then he got back up. And then he was just limping away. I'd rather completely miss than hit, hit him like that. After I shot, I should have been a little bit more focused. Uh, make sure that he is you know dead before you know I even go to the next step I was just so excited and man this is like uh, one of the worst feelings I don't even know how to describe it to you guys but I gotta track this thing though I'm not I'm gonna try to get him I'm not gonna leave him uh, like this uh, hopefully he's just dead and I could just go get him or you know, hopefully he's not too far from here and uh, if I have to put, you know, if I need to put another one in him, I, I will, will be more than happy to. <sighs> but alright, no time to sit, no time to whine. I'm gonna, I gotta get backtrack. I'm gonna leave my pack right here. I'm gonna try to go see where I could, uh, where he was the first time I shot him. And then see if I can uh, kind of trace his steps a little bit and then just kind of go from there. But that's what we gotta do good news is I found him just kind of went down a little bit and he's pretty much dead about 50 yards from where I shot him so the 300 short mag definitely did enough damage to it it didn't go far but he is down and so let's go take a look at him well here he is after an hour of trying to find him I finally found him definitely not a shot that I'm proud of but it was able to uh, do the job he didn't go more than 50 yards from my last shot him and he just basically tumbled down to this tree I spent about 45 minutes trying to look for him and finally came upon him but just to recap this week's been crazy been coming out half days and I saw a pretty nice buck on the other side of the canyon. Didn't really get a chance at him this morning. Had to do a few things. Didn't really want to come out. I was kind of like, mornings are best and if I already missed it, I don't know if I should come out or not. But I told myself, I only got pretty much a day and a half left. Gotta come out. I'm sure glad I did. I shot this guy around 2, 2.15 in the afternoon. Got up to the 
top road there's a lot of people down low got up there was just making my way gonna go on to the other side but wasn't really looking on this clear cut saw a little bit of movement and I saw the doe first I saw this guy coming up this guy was a lot bigger than that doe put my binoculars on I saw its uh, antlers I saw the forked I knew it was a legal buck went for my gun I just sat down there was definitely two I was on this guy the whole time but he had his head covered and then he finally when he turned I saw that he was the buck uh, I saw the forked on his right he turned uh, I waited until he quartered away and then I finally took the shot. I was going to try to squeeze it right behind the shoulder. Instead, I hit him right far back. Everything went silent for a few seconds and then I just saw him tumbling down with his feet up. And I just thought he was done for. And then I think in the clip he uh, got back up and then he pretty much was just coming down. But uh, I didn't see any of that. I was just, just trying to take it all in at the time. And man, I was just so happy. And then coming down here, I couldn't find him. And I couldn't really, didn't really know where I shot him. And so I reviewed the footage and I found out that it was such a bad shot. And that's when everything went down to zero. I was just you know all the horrified things you know is it is he gonna be dead is he you know gonna be out of the area like who knows am I even gonna be able to find this deer but nonetheless I got him and just so blessed gotta get him out out of here hopefully I can make it to the truck before dark little guy but he's definitely gonna be heavy on my back so uh, let's get down to it That took longer than I thought. This is my first solo deer, I guess. It's heavy, my pack is definitely heavy. I actually took some ribs. I tried to take all the ribs, but I don't know if I could carry it anymore. I basically took three quarters of the ribs and uh, cause there's a funny story behind that. Two years or three years ago when I got that black tail, I uh, took everything except the ribs. I took all the meat off the ribs, got home, told my grandpa-in-law, I got one. First thing he asked is, did you bring me any ribs? <laughs> and uh, I told him, nope. He wanted me to tell him exactly where I shot that deer and he was gonna go get the ribs uh, the next day. And I told him, it's a 13 mile trip, round trip. It's not worth it. So uh, he's like, all right, next time. And so uh, this time, getting the ribs just for him. A little special moment with uh, my grandpa-in-law and me. And uh, just so blessed to have this guy. And even though I didn't make a good shot on it, you know, I still got him. And so I guess that's what matters. And uh, you just got to learn from it. Gonna go uh, take it back to the shooting range, sight it in, make sure it is actually zero. I dropped it a few times, I already knew, but uh, didn't make the correction. I almost uh, missed my opportunity. And a lot of things learned on this uh, little trip. It's gonna be a heavy 200 yards up. It's gonna be a while. It's around 5 30 i got pretty much like 40 minutes until uh sun goes out it's gonna take me a while and so i think i might just end it here because i think once i get up there it's gonna be dark probably won't record much uh when it's dark you know just thank for you for uh watching and following me along if your season is still going on good luck to you if you already tagged out congratulations to you if you uh got tag soup this year well there's always next year and we just got to work harder for it that does it for this video maybe i'll see you guys in the next one <laughs>